folks, Tony Lockhart here. This is the last day before spring break. I think the current date is April, I think April 12th, 2019. It's about a quarter after five in the morning. So what I'm making, <clears throat> so what I'm making right now is a bunch of thumb cups. Basically, uh, it's like a pint glass with a little indentation in the side. Let's see, you know the camera will pick that up nicely. So a small indentation in the side. It really helps you grab onto the cup. It just makes it a lot more comfortable for you to use. Using about 20 ounces of wet clay. What I do is I throw the body, kind of clean it up a bit, and then after I clean it up, I'll go and put a little indentation. I'll finish off by doing the lip. Not that worried about height, but most of my hand can kind of be the, about the height of the cup, then I know it's about right. And the diameter is about this wide, kind of like a hand grip. Let's go nice and slow with the wheel. Right now I'm just pushing a little bit from the inside and pushing from the outside to compress the clay. And I'm trying to get any additional height that I can out of the cup. <clears throat> These guys shrink pretty drastically when you fire them twice. So I'm gonna lose a lot of that height. Not gonna lose that much of the diameter. So if I can get any extra out of it, then I will. <clears throat> now, 
peel off just a tiny bit at the bottom so it's easier to slice this off later. And what I'll do is I'll clean up the inside and the outside. So just got a long stick with a sponge. This is a chopstick, the sponge tied to the end. So get the sponge a little damp, squeeze all the water out. And then what I can do is just drop it down here at the base so I don't have to disturb the side of the walls of the cup. Just take that guy out. There's a bunch of clay and slurry all over it. Just squeeze the water out. And then I'm going to go back with a rib to clean up the side of the cup. And I can pause, stop the wheel. There's a little bit of clay that's left over. I'm just gonna throw this off into the bucket. Go back and I'll peel off one little bit at the bottom one more time. And I'll stop the wheel. And I take my thumb and I'll wet it just a bit. So let's see. I'll do is just do the slightest little indentation. So a little bit of water to make the area or the surface slick, but just slightly dent. Okay, so there's a little bit of a deformation in the clay. Yeah. Um, so what I'll do next is kind of dry my hands off on my apron, and I'm gonna give this guy a little push so it goes back into round. I can take care of that one inch at the top. So I'll take the lip and I'll use a piece of leather. Nice and easy. I'm just using this as a surface to help coax it into like a rounded, um, a rounded edge. Just looking for a nice smooth transition as it goes up, over, and back down into the cup again. I'm not really pinching or pushing. I'm just kind of guiding it and keeping the sponge right in the correct area. I know the camera can't pick it up with the amount of light, but a little bit of a curve. So, last thing I'll do is I'll take a wire tool I like to, if I'm standing right in front of the cup, I like to have the indentation at about five o'clock. And I'll just put my thumbs down on the wire and onto the bat. And I'll very slowly turn the wheel and just drag it forward. And then the wire will go up and over. So this will dry for about a half of a day um, with reasonable weather and then I'll peel it off and then I'll just clean up the bottom. Can't really see, it's really, like I said, it's current time is like 525, so it's really dark outside. Not getting that much light into the studio. Right. Should make another one. on the bottom of the bat and on the sides so it drops in in and out easily and I'll give her a little spin there we go so here's another view um, and we're gonna make this cup let's go ahead and take your clay 
gonna try to center it nice and easy. Kind of pushing down at the edges and pushing inwards so it's already kind of a little bit of a cone. And then now I'll add some water and some speed and center it properly. that rib tool again. Use the bottom edge to compress the base of the cup. Just gonna put a little bit of pressure. Just gonna flatten it out so it's relatively um, level. Get some water. I'm gonna very slowly push this clay towards the center so it turns into a cone. I'm gonna slowly pull it up just a bit. Looking good. So now I can drop the speed down. Add some water inside and outside. I like to put both fingers like this so when I drop water on my hand, it dribbles down both sides. So I get water on the inside and the outside of the cup. I'm gonna just push the clay in right here and I'm pushing down against the wheel. And then now I can start to pull it up. Sometimes a little extra clay gets pulled off of the edge so you can just toss it in your bucket. Just pull, 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 pull towards the center and up. Nice and easy. Try to compress this lip. Helps you push it back down again. And it will keep a nice thickness over the rest of the pot. Okay, I got most of my height. I can slow down the wheel a little bit more. Need to, I can kind of just kind of pop my hands right in there. Got my fingers at the bottom of the cup. Got fingers outside over here. I'm gonna try to have a nice uniform pull. I'm gonna slowly, slowly go upwards. again. I notice like the size of my hand feels comfortable to do this to hold the cup but the actual size of the cup at the top is a lot bigger. So now what I have to do is to push the clay back in and try to coax it upwards. So get a little bit of that moisture. I'm gonna add a little bit more speed coax it up and in. The pressure is happening at the bottom of my hands with my pinkies and the top parts of my hands like my other fingers, those are just helping to guide the clay so it doesn't splay outwards. So instead of it being like a cone, it's a little bit more cylindrical. So 
just cleaned up the bottom one more time. I'm gonna try to get one more uniform pull and can't see it, but inside, this is a little air bubble. I'm just gonna take a little pin. Just kind of pop that little air bubble. Because I still have an opportunity to compress the clay. So if I can, get rid of that bubble. Make life a lot easier. Okay, so here we go. One last cleanup pull. A little bit of speed, nice and easy. Try to compress the clay. So it has a nice strong wall. Since the sponge is already damp, it's a little bit closer of a view. Since the sponge is already damp, I'm just gonna drop right in, clean that up. If the bottom of your cup is too narrow, you can, uh, you can just kind of push this out just a little bit, tiniest bit of pressure. doing is I'm walking the sponge up the interior of the cup as it spins around. Pretty solid. Lots of clay over there so I'll dip it in this bucket of water, squeeze all the clay out. I'm gonna rinse off my hands because there's too much clay on them. Nice and clean now, or kind of clean, <laughs> relatively clean. And then you can peel off some of that wet clay. It's on the side of the cup. And I'll pause. Actually, I'm going to clean up this, clean up the bat, a little bit of a sponge. Now I'll pause it, put some water on my thumb, and then I give it a little indentation. The water will act as a lubricant so that way um, your thumb doesn't stick. So real quick, it looks pretty round in camera or in frame. I'm just going to tilt this upwards just a bit so you can kind of see. That it's not exactly that round. It's um, a little bit, a little bit of an oval shape to it. Okay, that's a good shot. So you can actually see that. So I'm gonna clean off my hands on my apron, nice and dry. And then I'm gonna give it the tiniest little push back into round. That'll be that. Actually, I don't mind having my fingerprints all over the cup because the glaze is going to go back over that. It's going to fix it up a bit. Um, I don't mind letting people know that real hands made this thing. Just give this a little push back into round. That would be that. Okay, so now part of the reason I saved the leathering to the, to the last bit is because that will help it also go back into round. So the top of the cup will be a lot rounder and the bottom will be a little bit more oblong. That's okay. It's supposed to fit into a human hand. <laughs> okay, looking at that, looks pretty good. I'm gonna give it one little gentle nudge. Another thing to consider too is when you do this type of thumb rest or indentation into your cup, you're gonna lose volume. So sometimes it's better to throw it a little bit taller. Because um, when you throw it taller and you lose some of that volume, It'll be able to hold more than if you had a short cup with the indentation. This is about 20 ounces, so this will turn into a nice pint glass. I'll just 
wired off. Again, so the so the camera camera right here is about 12 o'clock. Here's six o'clock. I'm gonna get the thumbprint to about five o'clock, five o'clock, which is here. And then again, I'm just gonna wire off, pushing forward, and the cup is gonna be spinning ever so slightly. Easy, pull it forward. So that'll be that. So I'll come back after work later this evening, and I'll be able to work on these guys. So here's another thumb cup. Hey, thanks for watching.